I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the techniques to multiply and simplify product of square roots. We have three different questions here. The first one is 2 square root 3 times 3 square root 12. Then we have 3 square root 5 times 2 square root 10 times square root 2. And the third question is 3 square root 6 times 2 square root 15. You can pause the video, answer and then check with my solution. I'll show you two different ways of doing the same thing. So when you multiply square roots, then the number within the square roots get multiplied and number outside also gets multiplied. So we get 2 times 3 as 6 and within the square root we have 3 times 12, right? So let me write 3 times 12 first. So this dot really indicates multiplication. So it gives us 6 square root of 3 times 12 is 36, right? You know, 36 is 6 square, correct? And therefore, you get this as 6 times 6, which is also 36. So that is how you can get your answer. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is, when you multiply, let's, let me just show you steps here. 2 times 3, that is outside. Inside, we get 3 times 12. Now, whenever we are trying to find square root, we can actually factor so that we get two similar factors and we can take one of them out. So, I'll show you this technique now. 2 times 3 is 6. Let me write that. And within square root, we have 3 times 12 can be written as 4 times 3. Now, 3 times 3 is 9, right? And there are two same factors, 3 and 3. So we can take one of them out, so we get 6 times 3. And 4 is, square root of 4, you know, is 2. 4 can be written as 2 times 2, right? So 2 times 2 is 4, so we get 2 also. So we get 6 times 3 as 18, 18 times 2 as 36. So that becomes our answer, correct? So I hope that helps, right? So it, it is a better method since you are not dealing with bigger numbers. Now let's do the next one. You'll appreciate this idea here. Now we have three radicals, 3 square root 5 times 2 square root 10 times square root 2. First multiply the numbers outside. So which are 3, 2 and 1. So let me write 3 times 2 times 1. And within square root we have 5 times 10 times 2. We have 5 times 10 times 2. That is what we have, right? Now 3 times 2 times 1 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, right? And within square root, I could multiply and write 100 or I can say 5 times 2 is 10 and 10 times 10. Do you see that? So we have 10 times 10, right? I'm purposely writing two tens here to show you that one of them can be taken out, right? Even otherwise, square root of 100 is 10. So we get this as equal to 6 times 10, which is 60, right? So that's how you get your answer. Let's do the next one. 3 times square root 6 times 2 times square root 15. 3 times 2, so let's multiply 3 and 2. It's good practice to write them in brackets also. Within square root, I have 6 times 15, right? Now we can factor inside terms. We get 3 times 2 is 6, and inside I am factoring that. 6 can be written as 3 times 2, 15 can be written as 3 times 5. Now there are two 3's, one of them can be taken out. 6 times 3, and within square root I get 5 and 2, which gives me 10 as their product. So I have got 18 times square root of 10. So that is my answer, the exact answer for part C, correct? So this is how you really multiply radicals, right? So in radicals, remember, you have to multiply the outside numbers. So 3 times 2 is 6, so you get 6. And then the inside numbers, 6 times 15, right? 6 times 15. And then you have to square root the inside number, which you can do by factoring. So that is the whole idea, correct? Practice few questions like this and then move on to the next video. Thank you and all the best.